Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to do a firework on the rainbow loom. The result will look like this. Now, before you start, you want to make sure that the arrow on the loom is pointing away from you. Now, we're going to be starting with the border. Let's get the part that's going to be where my black is. You can choose any color for this. Now, for the border, you're going to take the any color you want. Start with the middle pin and go to the right pin. And then you're going to go from the right pin that you were on and go forward. You're going to do this until the end. Well, almost until the end. You're not going to go to the last two. You're going to go to the third last. Once you've done that, the result should like the, look like this. Now, for the other side, you're going to take your color again. And you're going to want to take it onto the middle pin and go to the left pin. Then you go forward. You're going to want to do this like you did with the other side. Remember, don't go on the last two pins. Go to the third last. When you finish that, it should look like this. Okay, now with the colors. You're going to want to take your first color and go from the second peg and go bottom there, starting with the right middle to the right peg and then you want to take the color in the middle and I want to go to the from there forward like that and then you want to take your other color go to the left peg into the middle peg you can push that down I'm going to show you this two more times You're going to want to take that color and go to the right peg and then you're going to take the middle color and go to the peg there Then take your other color and go from the left peg to the middle peg. I'll show you this one last time. You're going to want to take your color again, start at the middle peg, go to the peg that's below it there, on the right, then you're going to want to take your other color and go from the middle forward, then take your other color and go from the left peg to the middle peg. You're going to want to do this all the way till there's one last there. Once you did that, it should look like this. Now, you're going to want to turn the loom over to make sure that the arrow is point facing you. Okay, now you're going to want to take two colors to put on these two pegs. Now, I'm going to be taking a pink and a yellow. It should look like this. Okay, okay, now you're going to want to take your needle, or what you call it, you're going to want to go to the color that is right here, where my blue is, and take the one at the top, and you're going to take it off the pin there.
put it right there. Okay. And you want to get the one that's right there that was in the middle. And put it forwards. Now you're going to want to take the one that you put on first and put that there. Then you're going to go to the next row. You're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to take your blue or the color you put there. That there. I'm gonna take the color you put on second. Put there. And then you're gonna wanna take the color you put on very first. And put that there. I'm going to show you this one last time. You're going to want to take the color you put on last in your pattern. And put that right there. Then you're going to want to take the color you put on second and put that right there. Then you're going to want to take the color you put on first and put that right there. You're going to want to do this until the end. Now, once you've done that, it should look like that. Sorry about that sounds in the background. That's just my little sister. Oh. Now you're gonna wanna take your peg and grab the black. And put that right there. Now you push with the back side, take through, Hello. Are you there? and you grab the black, like this, and you take, get all the way like that. Do this until the end. Now you're gonna want to take your needle okay. for the other side and take your border color and put this right there and then take from the other peg, go in like you did and put it onto the peg that you you start over the front. Okay. Now, also, I forgot to show you how it should look like on the upside when you finished. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you this, guys, two more times. Take the black. Put that on that peg. And then you're going to push. And then take the black that you did not use. And put that 
there. You're gonna wanna do this until the end. Okay, once you do that, it should look like this. Now, now, you're gonna need an extension now. You're gonna take your needle, and I put the, through all those colors at the front. That. Then push inside it, so it should look like this. And you wanna take your extension color, it's gonna be pink. And you're gonna put that onto the hook. Like so. And you're gonna wanna pull it back and put it onto the needle. So it should look like that. And you're gonna wanna slide that band up over here. Now it's time to take it off the loom. You're gonna wanna take off. Start taking it off on one side. Like this. Okay. I'm going to want to do the same to the other side. Okay, and for the middle, I like to flip it over, but you don't have to. I just like take it off like that. the whole thing off until the end. Okay, once you rip that off, it should look like this. Now, if you don't know how to do an extension, I'm gonna show you now. I'm gonna be taking a blue. Oh, and I know that the arrow is facing away from you. Now, my hand is around six um, bands for the extension, but it's not the same for everybody, so. Now, if your hand is around a seven, or what number it is, you wanna put one less than that because you have one right here still, so that counts as one of them. And then now you're gonna wanna flip your limb over once you did that. And then you're gonna wanna take the band off the needle. Which is that, I like to put it around my finger. And then you're gonna put this right on that pin, like the whole thing. I like that. So it should look like that. Neat. Now you're gonna wanna take your needle, or what you like to call it. You're gonna push back. Take your yellow on that pin. If that band comes off like that, like mine just did, just put it back on the pin. Like that. Now, you're gonna wanna take your next extension color and go onto that pin. I'm sorry for the background noise. That's my sister, my parents just came home. Then you can just put it like that. 
put that like that. Put that on like that. Now, you're gonna wanna take your clip now. You can turn around your limb if you want. And just take off the bands. Now, I like to leave the last one on. Stretch it on like that, so it makes it easier to put on the clip. I'm gonna want to put it on the clip like that, and then you're ready to take it off. Now, it should look like this so far. Now you're gonna want to attach this clip to those two bands right there. That is your finishing bracelet. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below.